Peace, fam. Islam, brother cool. Coming back at you with another one. This bright and early morning. Or this bright and early rising. You know what I'm saying? On on uh Michael Day, Michael, a day of Michael, or Moon Day, Monday, Moon, Mun, Moon. Just out of O, y'all. Just out of O. So this beautiful early rising on Moon Day. Or the day of the moon. I want to talk about free white persons. We need to get this right, man. We need to get this right and exact. Who are and what are free free white persons? Who and what? It's important. And how is it in reference to us? So first off, I want to get things very clear. And the information that I've been studying is the expatriation and citizenship of the United States. So it's dealing with tons and tons and tons of Supreme Court case law, annotations by Supreme Court judges, you know what I'm saying? So a free white person <coughs> within the United States, right? Because this is where such a thing exists. Or within the uh, foreign jurisdictions of England, these are where such a thing exists as a free white person and a free white person simply being every other uh every other human being on this planet of a race or nationality that is not caucasian okay so free white person does not mean caucasian people all right european people can be free white persons but you have to take into account who are the original europeans you see what i'm saying because even if you look at the race and ethnicity, a white person is a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, of Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. And just so y'all don't get pulled up into the mind tricks, Europe is part of Asia, and the Middle East is in Africa, or what we call Africa today. So the Middle East is still in Africa, you know what I'm saying? So Indian, pe so Indian people, those are Africans. Pakistani people, those are Africans. Arabians, those are Africans. Iranians, those are Africans. Not the people you see in office or on the TV, but the Aboriginal peoples there, they're darker than me. You see what I'm saying? But those are the original peoples of that jurisdiction. But, so a free white persons means anyone other than a Caucasian. Any other race other than a Caucasian. All right, so with that being said, now, as it relates to us, what are we in reference to the system? Because I've heard a lot in this, uh, excuse me. I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot within this school of thought. You know what I'm saying? My little man gave me this feather, yin and yang. So I look at it, Good morning. I look at it as yin and yang, two sides of the coin. Right? Higher self, lower self. But plus it matches the feather. It matches the head wrap. I like that. But so in reference to how to identify within the United States, okay, the highest status in the highest status in the United States is that of a white a free white person. Okay. Now, what about Africans? because a lot of us are claiming to be Indians. I will admit, even at one point, which I still do now, I do claim American Indian. Now I have a better understanding. I have a better understanding. Because before it was American Indian white person. Now that I read up on the law and the facts and the truth, now I know exactly how I class how to classify myself. All right, and I'm gonna share this with y'all. Right, because not everybody is willing to go in and do the research. But I'm gonna share it with y'all, because that's what I do. I do research. Everything I say, look it up. It ain't just me talking from my butthole. You understand what I'm saying? So, an alien. Whoa, what? Alien? I know. Everything is backwards. So what we deem to be an alien is not all it's cracked up to be, because there are two types of aliens. If you didn't know. There are those 
aliens who are what we're known as immigrants, meaning they are not, meaning that where they're domiciling at is not their homeland. Okay, they are not in the they are not in the particular system of the government that they are domiciling in. So they're not a part of it. They are alien to that, meaning that when anyone from within that governmental system sees them or tries to correspond with them, they're hard to pop up in the system. There's really nothing on them. They're like an alien. Okay? So normally when we hear alien, we're just hearing about people who aren't from here. So we, in our minds, we, we assume aliens and immigrants are in the same type of thing. No, 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 okay? So now dealing with African Americans or people of African descent or African nativity, right? We are, we are aliens within the law, expatriation of citizenship, okay? We are considered in our proper status, we will be considered aliens, aliens of African nativity and incredible. It's incredible how much history we have on this landmass if we would just open our eyes and pay attention to what our ancestors left. It's incredible, man. Amazing, 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 amazing. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So being a Moor, <laughs> being a Moor is a whole lot more than what we think. Okay? So we are not free white persons. When we are conducting business with the United States, we are in the capacity of free white persons. Free white persons is a hat you wear. So a free white person would be considered a so-called Caucasian person. And a free white person is actually also an alien of African nativity and African descent. Well, so what would that mean? That would mean a free... What, or what the, how, how they would call it a free person of color or a free negro and you understand in the 13th amendment it states that free negroes I should cross through and you know it states in the 13th amendment that, that negroes negroes and uh, the descendants the descendants of Africans Right? So Negroes and the descendants of Africans cannot be citizens of the United States. That's right there. That's also right there in the um Oh my gosh. That's right there in the Dred Scott case. The Dred Scott versus Sanford. You understand what I'm saying? So people of African descent who have um been damaged due to slavery and uh involuntary uh, slavery and forfeiture, they cannot and will never be citizens. That's the 13th Amendment, Section 12. 13th Amendment, Section 12. You feel me? So, once again, people of African nativity and people of African descent could never be citizens of the United States. You know who could be a citizen of the United States, though? Uh, Indian. So, literally, you know how people say Indian and five dollar Indian? An uh, Indian is a is an uh, Indian is five dollars. Put it like that. An uh, Indian is five dollars. Alright? Because an Indian is the only place over here where that actually exists. And if you talk and, and I know you're saying, well, what about India? What about the country India in the so-called Middle East? You mean India and Africa? Well, India and Africa isn't really India, it's called Hindustan. So those people who we call Indians are really Hindustani. That's their nationality. Their nationality is not Indian. To say their nationality is Indian is no different than saying that our nationality is black. All right, Indian exists on paper. Those people over there are 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 are, are Hindu are, are, are Hindustani. All right, that is Hindustan, not India. Look it up. Research. See for yourself with your own eyes the lies that we have been told. Okay, so we are not Indian. So we need to stay away from that. We are Native American. Link on to that. We are not Indian. We are Native American. Okay? And the reason why we are Native American is because we are functioning as we are being aliens. Aliens of African nativity and African descent who are not from what we so-called call Africa today. 
All right, so what would you call an African person who's not in a particular government but is from that landmass? His bloodline comes from that landmass. You know, you, you know what you would call him in reference to your system? You would call him or her an alien of African descent or African nativity, a.k.a. a free white person in terms of how I'm to do business with that, with that uh, human being because they are not a U.S. citizen. They are native. They are not subject. That is a more. All right? And this is what we need to get, man. This is the key that we're missing. And these are the keys we're missing. And the main thing in all of this is we need to formulate our own state, have our own state constitution, have our own rules of procedure, have our own courts, have our own schools. Even go, get, go back to having our own newspapers. Then start, you know what I'm saying, accumulating notes. Gain our own land. All these things are part of the picture. The bigger picture. But, like I said, the confusion comes because there's a lot of master teachers out there, right? But how many of those master teachers are actually reading? What the hell that they're talking about? Because if I don't know something, I'll tell you real quick, I don't know something. You know what I'm saying? But I like to know things, so I will always take the time out to read and figure it out. Because I want to see with my own eyes. I don't like to talk from a half-assed position of maybe. If I can't talk from a place of, know, of knowing, then I need, to know, I need to learn some more about it. Before I start talking about it. So please. Alright? So wait. It feels good on this moon day to wake up and know that I am alien. Yeah, buddy. I'm an alien. And it's okay. If you are of African descent and African nativity, you can never be a United States citizen. By being a United States citizen and being of African nativity and African descent, you are actually spitting. You are spitting on your ancestors because they were Native Americans. They were not part of the United States. They were alien to it. All right. So if you are, if you don't continue to be what your ancestors were back then, in reference to the United States, which is alien, which is why there's a treaty in place because we're not the same. We're two different, two different peoples. You have Muslims and you have Christians. So we needed to have a treaty in place to diplomatically align ourselves so that we don't kill each other while we're living on the same landmass, although different jurisdictions or operating under different governments. So that's why that one, that's why that was important. And it still is important. Okay, so... We must be who our ancestors were. And like the prophet said, we are who our ancestors are with no doubt or contradiction. So if our ancestors were aliens of African nativity and African descent, then we too are aliens of African nativity and African descent. So let's take back our titles, yo. Remember, I'm not an alien to the land. I'm not an alien to America. I'm an alien to the United States. I'm an alien to the United States. And any way you cut it, splice it, dice it, the United States in all the most crucial, crucial parts. The United States in reference to, 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 to judiciary and judicial procedure. The United States according to federal, according to taxes. You understand what I'm saying? The United States according to uh, um, uh, foreign relations is a federal corporation. I understand this is the continental United States because America is a continent. But America is not United States. It's the United States of America. The uniting of the states. State meaning people. The uniting of people in America. That's what the United States of America really is. In the organic form. The closest thing to the organic form I feel you'll find is within the Articles of Confederation. All right, drafted in 1776. 
But the prophet said we lost our nationalities in 1774. Okay? Do the research. Add the timelines up. You know what I'm saying? So this is how we got caught up. Because now we're ratcheting up. Oh, I'm Aboriginal. I'm Indian. I'm a white person. I'm this. But everyone's overlooking the fact that, yo, what about alien? What about alien? We're supposed to be alien to the United States. Okay? So that's my piece on that, fam. For the moment, anyway. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to be right back. Hey, now. You're an all-star. Get the show, huh? Go play. Man, who would have thought you would have woke up woke up today? I have a brother with a feather and a, and a head wrap tell you that if you are of African nativity and African descent, you are alien. <gasps> what? You mean immigrant? Oh, my God. Am I going to get deported? Hmm. If you were, right? If you were. If you were. Where would they send you? Where would they send you? Oh, well. Well, they can send me home. All right, where's home? Because for me, home is North South Central America. My family's from Haiti, which is part of North America. So, if you ask me, where would they send me? I'm home. You can't send me anywhere in my home without my consent. Does that sound like deportation to you? No. Can they send me back to Haiti? No. Honestly, if my, uh, if my, you know, if my mother and father knew at the time, because right now I'm pretty sure like a lot of, you know what I'm saying, family members and elders who have come from different American states on the continent, when they come over here, either they naturalize or they classify themselves as a permanent resident. But I am happy that my, that my mother and father have not and will not naturalize. They did not naturalize into the United States. All right, I'm happy about that. They did not, they did not naturalize. However, however, due to the fact of the, per, the permanent residency status, you know what I'm saying? If my, let's say if my mother and father were the type of people who cause issues and stuff like that, then because they're listed here as, as permanent residents, being classified as, um, here we go, aliens, aliens. However, however, it's messed up because the status of alien that they're attached to is a type of alien to where they're not home, meaning an alien, meaning like, you know, like an immigrant. You're getting deported type of alien, not an alien of African nativity or African descent who is from the actual land that they are on, not necessarily a part of that governmental system that's in place, right? There's two types of government here on this landmass. There's a democracy and a republic. Which one are you on? As you can see, a republic is way more expressive. A, 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 a republic is way more in tune to the ancient customs of, 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 of people. You know what I'm saying? This is why it's crucial to know who we are and be who we are. All the damn time. Know thyself. So yes, you know what I'm saying? So that has to go for conversation. Excuse me, are you a US citizen? No. I am not a US citizen. I am not a US citizen. I'm an alien. That's a more proper spell. That's a more proper spell. You understand? Now, along with that spell, now that spell is in alignment with the um, national identification card. You see what I'm saying? Being an alien and then presenting your national ID card, now the story is incongruence. There's an alignment. Well, okay, this person is identifying himself or herself as an alien. Obviously, I can see that they're African. 
You see what I'm saying? So if they're claiming themselves to be alien, but I, I can see that they're African, and they're presenting me ad identification that I'm not familiar with. adds up like I shouldn't be able to recognize this. But however, if you just present yourself modestly and you don't state for the fact, for the record, that you are not, that you are an alien. Because the first thing, see, this is what I'm saying. They don't expect you to say you're an alien first off because anyone who thinks about alien, they're automatically thinking about deportation. So why would anyone openly admit that they are here illegally so they can get deported? You see what I'm saying? We don't have that same fear because we are not, we are not United States citizens. We are Americans, okay? The only people who are allowed to domicile here or live here and who are not US citizens are the Aboriginal peoples the Native Americans, the Moors. But if you claim to be a US citizen and naturalize, then you waive all your, all, all, you waive all your, all your uh, God-given rights, you know what I'm saying? For the protection of a company. So, we gotta let that thing go, man. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, to cast a spell. Are you a US citizen? No, I'm an alien. I'm an alien of, of, of African nativity, African descent. Now, we can properly function. Okay, this person is claiming to be an alien. Because like I said, everyone just goes for the whole, I'm a sovereign, I'm a national, I'm a Moorish American, I'm a foreign diplomat. Yeah, I want to throw around all these titles with no type of understanding of what they mean. No type of understanding, but you want to throw around these titles. But you don't have a goddamn clue what they mean. This is why you get yourself caught up in trouble. You are not a foreign diplomat. You know why? Only way you can be a foreign diplomat is if you have a nation state established on the international level. Other states recognize who you are. So this is what I'm saying. It's not like an overnight thing. Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay? The Moore Empire wasn't built in a day. It never stopped being built. It's still being built as we speak. So we have to understand these things, like I said. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, it's a whole different mentality. You have to really think about this. To claim confidently. What are you? I'm alien. What? What do you mean alien? Oh, I'm alien. Yeah, I'm an alien of African nativity and African descent. So you're not a U.S. citizen. No, I'm alien. Do you have uh, documentation that proves you're alien? Sure. Here's my national ID. Because the fundamental criteria to implement international law is self-identification. So how are you going to claim international law if you identify, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, as an as a entity that is a part of the so-called um, so government that you're claiming to separate? that you're claiming to be separate from. You see how that doesn't add up? Like I said, you can't be sovereign and citizen. It's either one or the other. It's either one or the other. So, no, we are not citizens of the United States. We are, <laughs> we are aliens, yo. Let's take our titles back. What are you, alien? Now, if I have to conduct business with you, I understand that how to how to translate that within the commercial system free free white persons or I could just classify as more point blank period end the discussion actually end the discussion just classify as more just classify as more end the discussion make a box put more put a dash Put the number for put put the put the Department of Justice number for more, uh 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 six six seven. You know what I'm saying? Make another box. Put Asiatic. Put that number in. That number is four six three. You know what I'm saying? If you feel the need, make another box. You can even put in Moroccan. All right. Moroccan. That's uh. That's six six seven. Moroccan is six three three. All right. Well, understand that we are not citizens. So it starts with internal first, because you have to internally speak these spells to start getting making things happen.
You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be alien, but you can't be an alien on your own. You have to be an alien amongst a group. Where's your starship at? You never see an alien by themselves, do you? The type of aliens we, we get shown on TV and stuff, those aren't... Do you ever see those aliens rolling, ro ro rolling dolo? Or do they always have a ship? They always have a mothership. They always have a fleet. They always have a home base. They always roll together when you look at aliens. And if you find one alien by themselves, you best believe, and they type fucked up, you best believe they family coming for them. You know what I'm saying? The rest of my fleet will, will be here. You best believe that. So aliens stick together. You never see an alien by themselves. Okay? And whenever you do see an alien by themselves, they are in trouble and they need help. Okay? So if we're going to be aliens, which we are aliens, once we start to be aliens to the United States, we need to come together because that's what it means to be an alien. Aliens ride together. Like I said, you never, you never see an alien by themselves without a whole fleet or pack or family of aliens following not too, not too far behind. All right? Man, reading, man, is one hell of a drug, okay? And knowledge is power. Because knowing things, you can start casting proper spells. Because first is the word, okay? So if you don't have an understanding of words, language, what type of spells are you casting? Are you casting spells that are producing good things in your reality? Are you casting spells that's producing um, uh, 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 negative things in your reality? You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's all up to you. It's all up to you and your perception. And what do you decide to do? Do you decide to just do what everyone else does? Watch what everyone else does? Watch what everyone else watches? Listen to what everyone else listens to? Or do you take initiative and be like, you know, why is it that everyone's okay with not understanding how the system works, but they're in this, everything they do within the system affects their everyday lives in every aspect. And it's all dealing with law no way around it so you know just once again man just 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 trying to bring clarity and ram the message home that we are aliens of african descent and african nativity we are not citizens of the united states we can never be citizens